Hi everyone, Chris Anderson from Mount Comfort RV. Well, today is an exciting day. It's the very first of our 2023 Numar arrivals. I am standing in the one and only existing in the country, 2023 Bath and a Half, yes, I said it, Bath and a Half New Air. This was a part of the dealer program that uh, we did back in April. We did a kind of a preview on this and I, I mentioned in that video that we would be getting, well, it's here, it is for sale. Don't forget to ask for me. That's really gonna honk me off. Do two separate videos on this and I don't get the sale. That's gonna make me mad. Um, but, but seriously, this is here to educate. We're gonna tell you all the new features for New Air for 2023, show you this brand new floor plan, which is incredible and, and see what you think. But right now it is available for sale. So if this is something that you're interested in, uh, like I said, there's, this is the one and only that exists in the country right now. There probably won't be another one to at least September, October timeframe. Uh, so that's it. So let's get started up front. Okay, of course they kept with the push button start that we've always had. So you put your foot on the brake, you hold down on the button and she roars to life. This particular coach obviously is on a Freightliner chassis. Freightliner has redesigned their dash. It's bigger, a uh, little more programmable, um, certainly easier to see. Look at the size of these gauges. They've, they've easily doubled in size on those. So much easier uh, to see, but more importantly, one of the um, improvements that needed to be made was made on here. The, um, since they went away from the comfort drive knob on these coaches, um, which was obviously easy to get to, um, it, it's built into the menu system um, right here, which is controlled on the steering wheel here. But you had to go through three or four steps to get to comfort drive on there, which while you're driving down the road, if you're trying to make a, a, an adjustment, that's not a great situation. So they put it right here as your favorites button. And if we just hit that favorites button, all of a sudden comfort drive control is up on our screen and then it's just a matter of the up and down arrow to get more or less comfort drive. If you're not familiar with comfort drive, this is going to be a long enough video as it is, please go back to YouTube and type in Mount Comfort RV comfort drive. We've done dedicated videos on comfort drive. Long story short, this coach will help fight the wind. This coach has the lightest, easiest steering wheel uh, in the industry uh, to, to negotiate with. You're not, you're not muscling the wheel. It's very light to the touch and easy to use. And these wheels all go back to, always go back to straight when you just let go of the steering wheel. Even at a dead stop, the wheels will straighten themselves. So when you're trying to back into that parking space um, and somebody says, okay, straighten your wheel, and you're like, I don't know if they're straight or not, just let go of the wheel, it'll always go back. So that's my 30 second version of Comfort Drive. Of course, we have our big monitors that you see here. I believe those are 10 inch monitors. Um, and uh, you can see um, from your camera angles, all your camera views on here. And then this is also your radio with Apple CarPlay for this year. That's something new, um, but all your radio controls and everything are built in through here. Obviously we're, we're Sirius XM capable, Bluetooth capable, all of that good stuff is, is built right in. All right, we'll shut the engine off so we're not burning fuel. All right, um, we'll go over quickly some of the controls up on the front half of this coach. So we have the HWH uh, leveling system, which this is a fully hydraulic leveling system and fully automatic. So all you do is hit that auto level button and the four jacks come down and level this coach. Um, we have our power mirrors, um, our ejection seat. We have a power window here on the side. So when you're paying tolls, you can, you can easily get to that. And then we have our automatic traction control uh, override right here. Um, that's in case you kind of get in some loose gravel or something in a campground situation and you're a little stuck. Um, that will help you get unstuck. Our dome light, our, our house versus chassis batteries, that's kind of like jumper cables built into the coach. If you're ever in a situation where you ran one set or the other of the batteries dead, you can hit that button and jump start your coach. And we have our fog light control there as well. Headlight control, air brakes, as we come over here, we have the push button that I use to start the engine with. Our shifter and everything is built nicely on the Freightliner chassis. It's built very nicely into the uh, um, control of the, uh, the stock here on the side. And then um, as we come over here, again, we have not only our cameras, but underneath our cameras, we have controls for our visors and blinds up front here, our overhead fans for defroster fan. Our heat control is here for the dash heat, but also here ties us into the hydronic heating um, of the coach. Generator start and stop. We can lock our entry doors right here. Air horn, why do we put an air horn switch on? It's just on, you want the air horn. Um, and then our courtesy lights to see at night um, and again our visors. So that's some of the controls up front for 
the new air. Now let's get into some of the, the storage that's built into this coach. Okay, a couple little cubbies up here. Okay, as we, as we reach in there, that's all carpeted so stuff doesn't slide around. We've got metal supports that hold this up. How sharp is that? I know I'm driving people nuts because I said it's a bath and a half and I'm not showing you that. You're gonna have to wait a little longer to see that. All right, up here, um, we have a couple things. There's satellite dish control up here and our Wi-Fi Ranger uh, for getting um, access to the internet, either by boosted Wi-Fi signal or you can add a SIM card to that and get cellular signal as well. Um, up here, we have control for our Girard awnings, our privacy drapes that are around the coach, um, uh, security lights, slide controls, over the door awning, all of that is in, in this compartment. Okay, we're gonna have some more storage here. And we've got a solar panel charger up here. This coach was equipped with the solar option. We'll come back to that later. And if you wait long enough in this video, we're either even gonna show you a bird's eye view of this coach. Um, we may or may not have acquired a drone and um, we can actually take pictures of the top of coaches now, which I think is really neat on these coaches, especially the ones like this that don't have a ladder on them because you know, we've not been afraid in the past to jump on the roof of them, but it's a lot bigger job when, you don't, uh, when they don't have a ladder um, to do that. So we're gonna be able to show you the roof, show you the solar panels, the two air conditioners, um, the way that the awnings, the, the Girard awnings are molded into the coach. You'll see all that in an overhead view later in the video. We'll probably tag it on at the end but I'll leave that to Troy, that's his job. So there's your controllers for uh, your Girard awnings there, but also these little cubbies offer just a little bit of storage. If you had some little knickknacks you wanted to put in there, you certainly could. All right, just like last year, we have our lighting control panels here. This does all the lighting throughout the coach. And then there's some extra goodies on here. If you go into the home screen, you can do the power shades throughout this coach, your overhead fans. Um, if you go into systems, that's where you do stuff like raise and lower the TV and turn the water pump on. All of that is controlled in this panel here, but we're gonna get more in depth in a different panel here in just a little bit. Now, as we come back through this coach, this coach has a full wall slide on the door side. So this slide starts here. We'll have Troy get the shot and goes all the way to the bathroom wall. You can show him how far it goes, Troy, but don't show him the extra bathroom yet. We can't let him see that just yet. All right. And then as we come forward, we have another slide out here. So you have opposing slides up front. That gives us a good amount of space up here. A nice 74 inch sofa that does turn into a sleeper for two. And then we have a booth dinette over here. This is more along the lines of a Euro style dinette. It is supremely comfortable to sit on. Uh, it does not make a bed. When The ones that make a bed are never quite as comfortable as the ones that don't. So that's kind of where we landed on this. And um, very comfortable. There is some storage underneath. Uh, but uh, let's, not, uh, uh, let's not kid ourselves and think that we can make one that makes into a bed that is as comfortable as this because you just can't. All right. Now there's a TV that pops up right here. Okay. And then across from that is the sofa, which is your main seating area. And then of course, both of these chairs spin around. And I think on a 35 foot coach, it's important to, to talk about that a little bit because you're, you're, go you're more likely to use the spinning chair feature on a short coach than you are on a long coach. You know, if you have a 43 footer, well, you've got some extra furniture in that coach. You probably don't need to spin the chairs around very often. On a 35 footer, I think it's important that you will rotate those chairs around and they become part of the uh, um, conversation area here. And also they're gonna have good viewing angles. The Ottomans are storage Ottomans. So you've got some built-in storage there. On a 35 foot coach, we're gonna need every bit of storage we can get. All right, let's take a look at some of our storage above here. Again, all carpeted. This is all one big area in here. So if you have longer items to put in here, you can do that behind these four doors. All right. And then on the opposite side here, we've got a little bit of storage on either side here. Our AV cabinet here. Your satellite receiver would go in here, and if you wanted to add a DVD, Blu-ray player, whatever, um, any audio video equipment will go in there, and your remote controls will still work because that has a glass door on it, so the infrared will go right through there. These are Samsung televisions. This is a Bose sound bar, so it's name brand stuff, not some name you've never heard of. Uh, the decor package for 2023 that we're dealing with here, this is Omni on the inside and the outside. Um, and then um, the, th this uh, wood is called Toffee Maple. And this is the high gloss, all hardwood, of course, no, um, no particle board or wrapped wood or anything like that. All the wood that you see in here is actually Toffee Maple hardwood. 
All right, coming back, we've made it this far. Let's get to the kitchen area. So um, we have a single bowl, deep sink with a pull down sprayer. Beautiful Corian work in here. All right, huge window. They went to that last year. Um, this does have the bonded windows in it uh, throughout the coach. Um, and we've had some hesitation on those a little bit. Not everybody, but a few people have hesitated on these because the bonded windows don't open. But that doesn't mean you can't get fresh air. We certainly have the screen door up front that does open. And if you open that screen door, that's a huge area, and then turn on these negative pressure fans that are in the roof, you're gonna have a breeze blowing through this coach. So it's not like you can't get a, um, uh, a dose of fresh air if you want it. But what they found is when they interviewed a lot of RVers is that a lot of times they don't do that. They're either running their heating system or their cooling system, except on those few perfect days a year. Um, and for that, it's actually much better to have the uninterrupted view of the bonded windows. They don't have the slats across them. They don't have, um, you know, leaks or air leaks or noise going down the road. The bonded windows are a much uh, um, better window in a lot of different ways, like I said, and you can still get a fresh breeze in here if you want to. Now, Samsung refrigerator, okay, that does lock going down the road. Nice LED lighting in here, pull out freezer down below, okay, with ice maker. But what I really like about this is the, the storage above. Look at this cabinet. That is huge. That's a absolutely huge cabinet. All right. Let's open up some of these kitchen cabinets. Nice pull out here. Everything is soft closed, so if you just get it close, it'll pull itself in. These are adjustable shelves in here. 30 inch residential convection microwave. This is an all electric coach, so you're gonna see a, a cooktop underneath here. That cooktop is removable and can be taken outside if somebody wants to. Um, you cook outside on the picnic table if you want to. Of course, there's outlets up underneath here to uh, plug in your extra goodies, your margarita maker, your coffee maker, your toaster, whatever. All right, and then let's do some of this lower storage trash can, a spot for a trash can. I don't know how many high-end RVs you see, and we see them actually in use. They've got a garbage bag tied to the end of the cabinet. Not great. So this way we actually have a spot for the garbage can. We have storage down here and spots for the um, sink uh, Corian pieces to go to when, you, when you're using your sink. Okay. Of course that's lit underneath there, which is awesome. Okay. Look at the way these doors are dovetailed full extension. You get them close, they pull themselves in. So I like the fact that they pull themselves in. Not only is that a pretty cool feature visually, but they're being held in. And when they're being held in, they're not going to rattle going down the road. And one thing that drives me nuts is squeaks and rattles going down the road. All right, look at the divider drawer here. Here's some of your extra Numar goodies, uh, touch-up paint, etc. This is our flagpole holder. This goes on the outside. We'll show you that in a little bit. Um, but that's that drawer. And we did option this one in with the dishwasher as well. Now this coach also has a central vac. Uh, that's what's right down here. And if you lift up on that, it just, you sweep the dirt up to there, lift up on it with your foot. It sucks the dirt right in. So that's great. And then also you have attachments out in the basement that'll hook there like a long hose. So you can get the attachments um, all the way to the front or the back of the coach. They put it right here in the middle of the coach. All right. So I've, well, let's do pantry. Okay, so we have pantry here. These drawers you push in, they're locking drawers. New for 2023, they gave you a spot for like cookie pans and stuff like that in, in all of the pantries in the new air. Now, this is the 3547 floor plan. They had the 3541 before that floor plan went away and was replaced by the 3549, um, which is very similar to that. This is an entirely new floor plan. There, there's, there's never been a new air like this before. Um, obviously, bath and a half is a very popular uh, idea on coaches. It work, it's really easy to do a great bath and a half on a 43 or 40 footer. The smaller we get, the trickier it gets and there are compromises that have to be made. But I think they really minimize the compromises in this coach. And if you're wanting a bath and a half coach, but don't want to drive a behemoth down the road, this might be the coach for you. And I, and I know this is going to be very, very, very popular. So here's, without further ado, here's our half bath. Very serviceable half bath here. There's room around the toilet, good storage, 
And I'll get in there and open some cabinets up after Troy gets through filming. This is all your electronics for the coach. These are your circuit breakers and fuses for the coach. So this is more of a service area. They made it look good, but not storage here. So we do have a nice medicine cabinet here with a plug inside to plug in the hairdryer or um, rechargeable razor, that type of thing. Beautiful backsplash and a corner sink here and then storage down below on both sides. All right, let's quit teasing. I'm gonna show them the half bath or the full bath. As we come back in here, we gain a cathedral ceiling. So even though we step up, we didn't lose any height. Another big fan here. There's another window that opens in this uh, bathroom back here. So you could open the front door and this window and have a nice breeze blowing through. I was shocked at how nice the shower was. I, I figured they'd have to go to one of those corner um, neo-angle showers um, that really don't have much room in them at all. Um, one of the things they've been focusing on lately is bigger showers. Uh, they were still able to do a very nice shower in here. So, all right, there's room. Okay, it's not as big as a shower in a 43 footer or anything like that, but this is plenty big enough with the rain shower head, built in shampoo and conditioner and body wash holders. This has the aquamizer system to save you some water uh, in here, and it's a beautiful uh, uh, river rock floor. Um, so there's plenty of room in here to do what you need to do. All right, also, stackable washer and dryer huge room around this toilet. I mean, there's a foot on that side, a foot and a half on this side. So plenty of room there. A little bit of storage above the window, a little more storage here. All right. Good countertop space, especially at the back back there. And then this opens up to a really deep medicine cabinet, again, with a nice outlet on the inside. Okay. Your, your closet is here. Lots of hanging space there. There's our spare chairs for the dinette. That table pulls out um, and there's two leaves that go in there. And um, you put those two leaves in and if you have guests over, you can get out the matching folding chairs and you're good to go. There's a safe back in there. All right, so drawer space. Look at this, we've got a couple nice drawers here. Back in this full bathroom. There we go. All right, so. Compromises, what'd we compromise? Well, probably the biggest one is right here, queen bed. If you're not okay with a queen bed, we're gonna have to put you in a bigger bath and a half model. If you are okay with a queen bed, again, call me, this coach is in stock and ready to go. Just don't forget to ask for Chris. So this coach has no carpet in it. This is a heated tile floor and it's a beautiful tile floor. They went to a tile like this, a matte finished tile like this last year. I absolutely love the tile. Um, I, a lot of people really like the polished porcelain shiny floors and that's great to each their own. I definitely prefer the matte finish. I think it, it can have a little dirt on it and still look clean. The polished porcelain tile, if there's any dirt on it, you're, you're getting out the Swifter. So um, the bed does lift up for storage. As we lift this up. Okay, there's those, those two table leaves I mentioned earlier. Each nightstand has plenty of room to set a phone, but there's also, there's a plug down in here, and then there's a little slot at the top where you route your cord out, so you can plug your phone in, but you don't have to look at the charging block or anything like that. That's gonna be tucked away and hidden. We have nice size cabinets on either side of the television. This one, certainly the top shelf would be reserved for like a satellite receiver, but the other shelves, you can put whatever you want there. All right, another one here. And then down below, we have three of those drawers and three of these drawers. Okay, so what else is new for 2023? We talked about it's an all new floor plan. That's pretty cool. Um, one of the big things they improved upon was the silver leaf system in here. So this screen, number one, it got bigger. Bigger is always better. Number two, they gave us more things to control on here, lights, shades in the TV lift, vent fans, awnings. These are things we did not have control of from the silver leaf system before, but the programming has improved and they have this and you can control this stuff through an app called MyRosie. 
um, R-O-Z-I-E, and that's going to be more of an app or computer based so you could access this remotely uh, and, and get to all of these features on here as well. But pretty much anything you need to get to in here, if you want to know how much AC power is coming into the coach, you touch that. DC power, how, how are our batteries doing? Are they charging? What's going on? Generator, it's on right now, so you're good to go there. Climate control, that's probably the one you'll use the most. Climate climate control on the home screen. That's all right here. Control of the Oasis hydronic heating system is, is built into here as well. So that's super easy. I love the fact that it got that the screen actually got bigger so you're not squinting to look at it um, and that they gave you the control that you didn't have for things before. So there's a lot of redundancies in this coach that, hey, if, if, if a touchpad somewhere else goes bad, you can probably still control it through this touchpad or vice versa. So I think redundancies are very, very good in motorhomes. Things do break sometimes. Um, and that's, that's what we're looking at here. So new for 2023, all new eras are going to have a standard lithium package. Uh, what this comes with is a couple of things. First of all, two 320 amp hour lithium batteries. That's number one. So 640 amp hours between the two of them. There's room to add a third one if you wanted to. So you could get up, uh, what, 960 amp hours if you wanted to. But also a, th a second 3000 watt inverter has been added to this coach that will allow you to run one air conditioner. So that thing that everybody's been dreaming of, I wanna put solar on my coach and, and lithium on my coach and, and run my air conditioners. You can do that on this coach. How long can you run it? Well, did you do the two battery option or did you do the three battery option? What else are you running in addition to your air conditioners? Were your batteries fully charged when you started? How bright is the sun shining? No one can accurately answer that question for you as far as exactly how long. There's just too many variables in there, but certainly several hours you could run off of solar, lithium, and batteries. You could run your run your air conditioner off. And on a 35-foot Numar, one air conditioner is enough to cool the whole coach. Having two is a nice benefit, but one air conditioner is enough to cool this entire coach. So remember, New Air was created to be a luxury short bus. Nobody in the market at that time was doing a luxury short bus. All the manufacturers, when they did a short diesel, they made it cheap. It had cheap cabinets, cheap flooring, cheap interior, rattle box, basically a travel trailer uh, on a on a chassis um, with a diesel engine is, is what they made. They didn't make a luxury short bus. This is a true luxury short bus. Beautiful tile floors, side radiator, independent front suspension, all solid hardwood cabinets, beautifully appointed throughout the coach. That's what a new air is. None of that has changed. But as an industry, we see a couple of things. First of all, we are trending towards you know more and more uh, solar type options uh, out there. Generators are really hard to get since the pandemic began. And uh, you know, lithium, we all know that technology is coming. It's just a matter of when, when it starts to make sense as far as the cost goes, because lithium is still very expensive. But on a new air, not the cheapest coach in the world anyway. Um, so uh, they weren't afraid to try that on, on here. Now, let's talk about pricing a minute. Now, anybody that has watched any of my videos in the past, they know there's only so much that Newmar will allow me to talk about. This has an MSRP of $668,960. That's the only pricing I can give you here. I know you've probably heard rumors that there's dealers out there charging MSRP and stuff like that. I don't know if that's true or not. I can tell you it is certainly not true here. We are still giving great discounts. Um, what I can do is put our phone number right here. Like how I made Troy do that. So um, you can give it a call. Don't forget to ask for me, number one rule. And um, don't forget to like and share our videos if you uh, and subscribe to our page. But you can call, ask for me, and I will gladly get you a price on this coach. We definitely take trade-ins. We know this coach is gonna be a very desirable coach for someone. Like I said, if, you, if you've been wanting a bath and a half and you're okay with a queen size bed, you are going to love this coach. Now, those of you that have to have a king size bed, you know, if they ever decide to do a 37 foot king air, you're kind of defeating the purpose there because there's other 37 foot coaches out there. But th that would be the only way we we could, we could figure out how to get a king bed and a bath and a half in there. But right now, um, this is bath and a half, queen bed. We've got some great features to show you on the outside. We're going to get to that in a minute. But first, let's show you what this coach looks like with the slides in. All right, the slides are in. So what do we have left? Now, everybody, of course, wants these coaches as big as possible going down the road. But, you know, what goes up must come down. What goes out must come in. And, and there's the trade-off. It's always a series of trade-offs in RVs. But right back here is really roomy. I could certainly get on the bed, lay on the bed, stretch out, take a nap while somebody else is driving. Pantry access is a breeze. And, and the reason you do a bath and a half is because you can get to the half bath going down the road. So that's pretty easy. All right. Even a refrigerator. Okay, well, first of all, I could, you know, 
I could cook here if I wanted to. Don't boil water going down the road. I could certainly, you know, throw dishes in the sink or rinse out a cup or wash my hands. That's easy enough. Refrigerator access is better than just about any coach out there. Usually you have to kind of open one side or the other. This one I can open both here and get the freezer open. So that's awesome. We're a little snug right here. Okay, but it's not bad. I don't have to um, turn completely sideways or anything like that. I can certainly get through here. I'm not being squeezed. You know, sometimes you'll have a piece of countertop and if you're, if you got a belly like me, it, it, it gets tight. There's nothing like that. My, my legs are, you know, plenty uh, small enough to get through here. So I don't think we really have any restriction issues in this coach. And if, if you're riding with other people and they want to sit back here and ride, um, they're going to have plenty of room as well. So I give this like a, a B, a solid B for uh, um, accessibility going down the road. Let's go look at the outside. All right, we're on the outside of our 3547 Newmar New Air. This is a 2023 model, the one and only in existence in the country and for sale by Chris Anderson at Mount Comfort RV. All right, moving on. Start out here on the front. Of course, we have our beautiful masterpiece finish that you're used to seeing on these coaches, and we'll get you some good shots with the slides in of that here in a few minutes. But for now, we'll talk about the fact that we do have a clear film on the outside that's gonna protect against all those pesky bugs, especially those Florida bugs that like to tear up paint, little rock chips, that type of thing. I mentioned inside that little device was a flagpole holder. That little stainless steel device fits right down in here. Your flag fits right in there. Fly your favorite colors. We have backup and turn signal activated cameras here um, on the outside of the coach as well. This coach does also have the stainless steel package, so all of your steps, your lower baggage doors, everything is, is very well chromed out and looking good. Keyless entry with the doorbell, you program your favorite code, you can lock and unlock not only your entry door, but also your baggage doors here, so no reason to go around with a key every time that you want to do that. As we move back, aluminum wheels, and these are the big tires. Look at other 35-foot coaches. They do not have 305, 70R, 22.5 tires on them. They probably have 275 or 265 tires on them. Um, bigger tire in this case uh, is just going to equal that much better ride. Again, independent front suspension on this coach, which not only gives you a better ride going down the road, but also increases your turning radius. So even though this is a short bus, you can also turn up to 60 degrees on this coach, which is going to give you just phenomenal maneuverability in gas stations, in tight uh, campgrounds, that type of thing. Now something new for Newmar this year. If there's been a knock on Newmar and their baggage doors, it wasn't that they, you know, their insulation level or anything like that. It's that they could sometimes be hard to close. In fact, I, I've taught many people how to do the Newmar close on the doors because you had to be very firm with them and slam them right at latch height. Um, well, they've gone to a little softer material on the seal now, and look at that. Newmar doors close easy. How sweet is that? That is definitely new. They still line up well. I've, we have a few manufacturers out there that their doors close easy, but then they're not setting at the same depth. The, the, they're not lined up well, basically, at the end of the day. That's not the case here. They still line up perfectly, but they, they shut with just a flick of a wrist. All right. We're going to pull this out. This is a refrigerator or a freezer. It extends far enough that even once your slide is open, uh, you are uh, able to get to this. You can set it to be a refrigerator or a freezer. So keep the steaks frozen, keep the beer cold, whichever way works for you. This runs off 12 volt or 110 volt uh, power, whatever you have available to it. Look at that. Fuel can be filled from either side. So when you're pulling into the uh, fuel station, you don't have to think, boy, I have to get to one that's on my passenger side or on my driver's side. You can get to it either place. It fills the same tank. All right, we have one, two, three storage trays on this coach. They are the electric storage trays. So if bending over is a little bit of a problem, you don't, uh, don't do that so well anymore, or you're just lazy, um, you're gonna love these power doors. This tray, um, is about a three-quarter tray back. And then this tray is about a three-quarter tray, and this tray is about a three-quarter tray. So notice there's nothing sticking down on most diesel pushers. You have that main frame rail that sticks way down into the coach, and you can't do anything tall. Look at the cavernous storage in there uh, that you have with a new air. These coaches have about the same amount of storage as a 40-foot coach, but it's only a 35-footer, so people love the storage of a new air. That's what makes it a great choice for people downsizing from a big coach, from a 42, 45-foot coach. They're used to a certain amount of trim level, and they're used to a certain amount of storage this has it of course we have our Samsung television with a Bose sound bar this tilts this way this way tilts down great for uh, entertaining outside or if you're tailgating that type of thing you have the this screen right here that's gonna make that that much more of an enjoyable experience 
look how well those paint lines match up. You can't feel them. Uh, most coaches you walk up to, you can actually feel the paint lines. You're not going to on this one. As we walk back here, this is just another big storage tray. You do have a plug-in out here. If there's any, anything you want to plug in or charge, you can. And then there's some of the, the uh, electronics for awnings and such are out in this compartment also. All right, back here, one more fully carpeted storage compartment. I always like to point out the thickness of Numar floors. That floor is like this thick. Most coaches, it's like a quarter of an inch thick. So uh, this is, you know, this, these areas in our basement, this is where our water lines are. This is where our water tanks are. If, uh, if we're only a quarter of an inch thick, things are gonna freeze, but that's not the case here. You have a full uh, insulated basement, even the basement floor. That's the part my competition doesn't wanna talk about. If we come back here, we have two 12 volt chassis batteries, and then there's our chassis battery disconnect there. That's for when we put the coach in storage. Now I'm gonna have Troy walk this way so he can get a full shot. I, we did take the time to open the awnings on this coach. A lot of times it's too windy uh, to do so, but we've got our Nova awnings opened up. So we've got shade all down this coach. And then we even opened up the window awnings on this coach. This has three window awnings on it. And uh, they're all, of course, Gerard's. They're all electric. They're super easy to use. All right, let's talk power. That's what we like to talk about. Show me another 35 foot coach with 450 horsepower and 1,250 foot pounds of torque. That's truly a uh, combination that's difficult to find. Um, 10,000 pounds towing behind this and it does have the air uh, hitch on the back. So if you have a, a um, like uh, Air Force One tow kit for your car um, that's uh, air actuated, this coach is ready for that. You don't have to add a thing to it. It's ready to go. All right, as we move around here, notice how well we can get to that engine, number one. Um, number two, there's no radiator back here because it's a side radiator coach. That's generally a high-end feature uh, that you typically only see on like big 45-footers, uh, that type of thing. You don't see it on short buses, but this has it. Our diesel exhaust fluid is here. Diesel exhaust fluid is part of the after treatment for all diesel engines. Um, you use about a gallon of diesel exhaust fluid per 50 gallons of fuel that you use. So um, you won't be filling that a lot, but certainly every now and then you are gonna have to put some in there. It will not run without it, don't try. All right, we're gonna get into our wet bay here. Now our wet bay, we have a power hose reel, which is nice, so you're not looking for a place to put that hose. We have a macerator, which allows us to dump um, black and gray water over a longer distance. It is actually a macerator is like a garbage disposal and a water pump all built in one. But you can still gravity dump as well, which is probably what most people will do most of the time. You have a flush on here for black and for gray water. So a lot of coaches have a black tank flush. Very few have one for gray. I will tell you from RVing experience, gray can get just as stinky as black. Uh, so it's nice to have a, a flush for both. This is all stainless steel out here. Um, there's a nice metal, not plastic, um, outside shower. And a new feature that they did add for this year is on this touchscreen back here, I can actually start and stop my uh, generator from outside the coach, which is nice. Another new feature, they went to stainless exhaust tips on the generator and on the hydronic heating exhaust. That's your hydronic heating exhaust right there. That's a good thing. They were using chrome ones for a while, but if, if they six months in, they would start to get those little rust spots on them. We always had to clean them up. Uh, that's just a much better design going stainless. Coming forward a compartment. Now this is our Oasis heater. This is our primary heating system for the coach. If it's below 40 degrees, this is how you'll heat your coach. If it's above 40 degrees, you can heat this with either your, uh, your, your electric heated tile floor or uh, your heat pumps that are built into both air conditioners. But below 40 degrees, you're really gonna need to get a, a heavier duty system involved. That's what this system is. It runs off either diesel fuel or electric if you're plugged into 50 amp service. And um, it's gonna circulate a glycol throughout the coach for heating it. Uh, and also it is your heating, uh, your hot water source. It's an on-demand hot water heater. So if you want to take a 40 minute shower, as long as you've got the water hookup for it, you're not gonna run out of hot water. You can even do laundry at the same time. We have our 50 amp shore power cord that is built into a cord reel as well, so you're not wrestling that. 
We do have a built-in surge protector on this coach as well, so that's not something that you have to buy separate. Uh, it's, it's all hardwired into the coach. And then this is where we would actually dump, I showed you the central vac on the inside, this is where we would actually dump the, uh, the bags for that. All right, next compartment is storage. Then we come forward a compartment, we have our inverter, and then we have our other inverter. I mentioned that this has two 3,000 watt inverters. One is dedicated for kind of running that second air conditioner off of the lithium batteries, and lo and behold, two lithium batteries right next door. These are the 320 amp hours each uh, batteries. These are from Lithionics. Notice that there's room for a third battery in there. You don't even have to do anything special. It'll fit. And then right next door to that, we have our sewer hose storage. I mentioned that you could uh, fill this coach from either side at the fuel station. That's where you do it. I failed to mention this time that these are Numar's flush mount slides, which are much less likely to have a leak because they recess back into the wall. And they uh, certainly look better as well. And then we talk about our bonded windows. We talked about that a little on the inside. Look at these windows. You don't have, like I so said, when you're standing on the inside looking out, which is the hardest thing for us to film because all that light messes with our camera. But when you're standing on the inside looking out, it's an un un uninterrupted view. You don't have that bar down the middle or crossbars or whatever. And like I said, there's still enough places to get fresh air in if you need to. The bonded windows are absolutely phenomenal. Coming forward, this is our Freightliner Electronics in this compartment. You can hear the generator running. It's very quiet. Um, we have fuses in here for Freightliner. Numar even provided you with some extra fuses just in case. And then come around the front. That generator is right here. That is an 8KW Onan diesel generator. To the right of that, you see that red handle in there? That is going to be your hot water to generator compartment. So you can hook up a, a hose to that and clean bugs off your window with hot water instead of cold water. Our air horns are enclosed up here. Uh, so you don't have as much stuff on the roof of this. Speaking of roofs, stick around past the end of this video or to the end of this video. We're gonna show you what I promised you earlier in the video, which is a bird's eye view of this coach. You can see the air conditioners, the solar panels, uh, the, the way that the uh, Gerard awnings are molded in. And you can even, if you look closely, you'll see the drains that are built in. When it rains or when your air conditioner is running on this coach, you're not gonna have water running down the side of the coach, messing up your beautiful full body paint, putting water spots on it. You know, there's, there's drains built into that roof and it actually goes down on the four corners of the coach. They've got tubes run down and they just runs out on the ground. That's why there's a little wet spot right down there underneath the coach is because that's draining off of the roof through the drain system, not down the side of the coach. All right, so without further ado, you uh, don't forget to call, don't forget to ask for me, don't forget to like and subscribe to our page. I thank you for watching. Stick around for the bird's eye view. My name's Chris Anderson. I'm with Mount Comfort RV. We'll see you next time.